Hey, I'm Miko from Ammo Sound Lab, and our latest amp sim release, Amped Volcano, is actually running AI amp modeling. Let's talk about it. Okay, this is our video about our latest release, Amps Volcano. This is an AmpSim plugin based on two different amplifiers and all their different channels. So we have uh, three channels on this old school, over 20 year old um, Volcano amplifier. And then the newer Asteroid one with all the different channels with the different colors. So this is a super versatile plugin. Go check it out, there's a free trial. So that is what I recommend everyone to do immediately right now. And the reason why I want you to go check it out is that we are running a completely new modeling engine. And this is an AI based modeling engine. We've actually worked with Steve, who is the same Steve who made NAM, which is the Neural Amp Modeler plugin. So um, I've actually known Steve for quite many years and uh, I think the first time we talked was way before NAM even blew up. So when NAM blew up, that was a huge thing and um, I was actually surprised because it took quite a while for people to notice what it actually is. Um, now Steve helped us getting this thing working the way it does, so thank you Steve for all the help. You've done so much for this uh, guitar community and I bet you know it, and I'm happy to see that you are stepping in uh, to help us companies, and um, let's see what happens in future. So everything you see here, the gains, the bass, middle treble, presence, death, right switches, everything, uh, is still done with our hybrid amp modeling. So this is the same as it was in Warna, which is a super high quality amp modeling. So let me demonstrate what happens when I turn the gain super low on the amplifier. <laughs> So everything is working as it should and is extremely authentic. For example, the presence knob on these amplifiers, just like on a 5150, they don't really start working up until you turn it way past like eight or seven or so. <laughs> But it gets brighter once you get really high on the presence now. So many things like that. All the knobs need to be modeled separately. The way the gain works, how much gain you're actually getting everywhere, still needs to be modeled. As always, uh, just that the foundation of the modeling is now AI based. And I was actually surprised to see how well it blended with our current system. So this really works nicely. Um, um, what I really love about this is, especially on the clean channels, I think we're getting more compression than, than we used to get. So that is where I would say you hear the biggest difference. Uh, mainly, all I want to get across here is that this is now AI based. Oh, I want to be extremely open about this having Steve's code in it. Uh, Steve is amazing, an amazing guy, and we actually are still in talks about how we can work together even more deeply than just this. Uh, so stay tuned for future. We are trying to figure out things. Um, we already worked on this plugin for such a long time. And once we had our first kind of um, NAND based algorithm working, uh, we wanted to try this out. And once we got this in beta, it was clear that we needed to release this as is because it sounds amazing. So really, I want you to try this out uh, also, just because I want to hear your opinion on how you feel this amp modeling compares to our previous amp modeling. Uh, there's nothing bad about Warna, by the way. This doesn't mean that Warna amp modeling was bad. I mean, I, I still couldn't pass the blind tests uh, between Warna versus the real amplifiers, just like I can't pass those tests anymore with this. 
um, it's just a very different way of doing things and ultimately um, I think quite many people in the industry have been talking about this there's a deeper understanding of how an amplifier works all the different harmonics and how things you know like rolling off the volume on your guitar and things like that and those things staying authentic how all that works is so much easier and clearer with AI based amp modeling that I wanted to try it out and I'm very satisfied with the results. I'm also happy to see that NAM is starting to grow into the industry. There are actual physical pedals running NAM, and uh, I think it was under a month ago when I'm filming this when Ermin, his company Submission Audio, they actually released a plugin that is running preamp models also based on NAM. So I sort of see NAM evolving into a similar thing like impulse responses, where essentially all guitar plugins are now running IRs, impulse responses, and um, no one's really even thinking about it anymore. It's just IRs. Of course, you're using IRs. But, you know, just like Steve made NAM, someone made IRs, and you don't probably even know the name of the guy who made impulse responses. I'm not even sure if I remember that either, but hey. Um, now, when it comes to that, it's the same thing, in my opinion, as IRs, where it's super easy for you to make impulse responses. Anyone can make impulse responses uh, in the same way anyone can make NAM profiles. It's quite easy. Uh, but the thing is, how do you make good impulse responses? There's actually quite a lot that goes into it. Understanding impedance, understanding uh, gain staging, understanding... Uh, how an amplifier sounds wrong if it goes into a load box versus when it goes to a real cabinet, things like that. Now, I'm choosing to be quite open about the amp modeling uh, and us using AI, us using NAM as part of our amp modeling right now. Um, I know quite many companies are choosing not to be open about that. And um, I think, if anything, we owe it to Steve to actually say when we're using this app modeling. I mean, it's the least we can do, in my opinion. I'm not saying goodbye to Vorna entirely, because even now we are using quite a lot of Vorna here. So um, this is not goodbye for Vorna. Maybe this is just the next step. And um, I'm just so excited to be in this position where we can actually use AI capturing as part of our plugins. I've already done quite many captures of things that are not guitar amplifiers, like compressor pedals and rack compressors and even some more complex things that maybe I shouldn't talk about at this point. There's just so much you can do with this system and this enables a company like mine to really elevate and come up with completely new fresh ideas. So I'm happy to be in this position. I'm happy that we can run AI on our plugins and um, this is only the beginning, once again. This is something that will explode this company forward into new things. Most likely, unexpected things are coming as well, <laughs> as always. Um, but yeah, go check out, get the free trial. It has the annoying nag pauses. Sorry about that. We need to have some kind of annoyance in there so people actually want to buy the plugins. So um, go check it out and let me know what you think. If possible, compare this to some older plugins, like even Blackout or something like that, that maybe is somewhat similar in some of its aspects, or Chibble Ref G. Let me know what you think about the amp modeling, this versus the older one. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, and um, see you later, alligator.